senior season, you gotta come out and perform my best and um and go out on top. How does it see your, your name number one on the depth chart? Yeah, now that Royce and Canary got I mean it's a good feeling, but the pressure's on because I gotta stay there now. Cause I got guys behind me. I hope you take my spot. How healthy are you entering? Good. It's good. It's definitely good. Royce was kind of in Kenai were kind of the power game. How are you guys going to provide a power game to this running game this year? I mean, we still got a power and we got speed because all of us in the backfield are speedy backs now and we all power backs too. I'm going to say we power backs, but we got power to us. Have you have put on a little weight? weight? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, we're you looking, we're looking. <laughs> nah, uh, I think I put on maybe like five, six pounds. Okay, good. Yeah. First of all, talk about changing the culture. What goes into that for a guy like you that's a senior? More consistency, more excellence? Uh, it reminds me of the 2014 year. Just I'm getting back to the basics and doing things the right way. How do you how do you change that? How do you change it? Yeah. Um. Or how do you change the, cult, the culture aspect? Of how do you change the culture aspect? That's a little question to be honest with you, but you start just by doing the little things right. I'm coming to practice doing what you're supposed to do and what you're supposed to wear, like the right socks and the right gloves and everything like that, and just being as a team and just I'm pretty much. Count on the team to hold each other accountable for each other. You got your third position coach now, your career. What, what are your takeaways of Coach Mastro? Uh, he knows this. Um, well, he's a good coach himself, um, and he knows his stuff really well. Um, and plus, he was at another Pac 12 school, so he's been around the Pac for a long time, so you know, I'm glad to have him. What is your biggest goal, or what you do in the offseason to, to try and get better this year? I would say. Get stronger, really, because losing a guy like Royce, you know, you got to replace the backfield with some type of, of power. So to get stronger, at least, because I'm fast, but I could get faster, but just get stronger. So we're, uh, I'm not going to be able to take the hits in a row for the horse. Is the whole strength program, is it noticeably different? Obviously, I mean, noticeably at the top, but is it just a different style than the previous years? It's definitely a different style than last year. And uh, I, I would say it's more of a style that, that we have with Coach Rap, but more so on the work. We see Darian Felix sitting there at number two on the depth chart going into spring. Give us your evaluation of Darian Felix. Uh, he's a great guy. He's a great young back. Uh, he has a lot of talent um, and great vision. As soon as he get more comfortable with playing on college ball, uh, he's going to be a guy to watch. How's it been having an off season with, with Coach Cristobal? Just any, anything different than you expected before? Uh, he's a lot more, um, how can I put it? Uh, I'm interactive with us. Uh, he pushes us. He's a great storyteller. He's a great storyteller. Um, he's a guy that you kind of just want to run through a brick wall for. Him.